Right, so welcome to episode number 79 of TRB's YouTube Road to Glory. This is our Ultimate Champs episode. We are hoping to get 11 wins. That's what I'm hoping for. If we can get to 12 for that extra League 1 pick, then we're going to try and do it. But 11 wins is the goal. We've got 50 player picks as normal to start off the episode. It's not been great, Ultimate Tots, I'm going to be honest, I think the only Tots that we have packed has been Slaughterbeck, we have packed Savio, we have packed Declan Rice, and there's somebody else that I'm forgetting, but yeah, it's not been a great start to it, so we have, we have went ahead and did the Premier League team of the season pack as well, just to make it a lot bit better. We're hoping to get something in these player picks, but as always, I'm going to start them with you guys. An 88 pop to start off. It looks as if it could be a good set of player picks, but we'll be back when they are all opened. Right then, so this set of player picks has been worth it. We've not packed a blue yet, but I'll show you why it's been worth it in a second. How good would that have been to get a blue at the very end? But we'll back out, we'll exit and sort items later. That way it puts all the fodder to the front. We have genuinely pulled up to fodder from this week as Shorty would say Yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent to be honest A couple of 88's there, obviously then we're going all the way down to the 82's here But, at the opposite end, we get like A lot of 88's, a lot of 87's Better than most of those store packs that you can get So we'll go ahead, we'll put all this through exchanges We'll be straight back, probably with more player picks But we will be starting our Foot Champs Hill Right then, into Fuck Champs we go. So, what I thought was going to be the sweatiest weekend league of the year turned out to be not as bad as we thought. We ended up using Son and the new card that came out just for the Champions League final, Hosolu. I, on, I know I say this about a lot of cards, but Hosolu might just be one of my favourite players on the game. For a big man like himself to have five star skills, five star weak foot, aerial plus, power shot, first touch plus, honestly, incredible. He carried us through the weekend league quite a lot. Both him and Son get involved in quite a lot of the action, as you're probably going to see in the clips playing behind me. But yeah, we didn't go off to a very good start to the weekend league. I am cutting out all of my losses. I might actually start putting like a little thing at the bottom to show you what the record is, but for now it isn't there. But yeah, Hosilu and Son up front, incredible partnership, incredible partnership. But yeah, as I was saying, didn't go to the greatest of starts. We ended up going, I think it was 0 and 2, before we actually managed to switch on and playing a decent, decent bat of FIFA. I ended up playing quite a lot last week because I wanted to get as best rewards as from rivals and same with champs because I don't want to just go for the 11 I wanted to try and go for more than that because I, obviously what kind of weekend league it was just for those incredible rewards we'll have to wait to the end of the video to see if we did get there but we we, we weirdly had fun during it, which what? is bizarre to see, especially considering it is ultimate team of the season. But yeah, you just saw that, the Drogba had to come join the squad again, just to help us out a little bit. The amount of times I must have saw Giroud this weekend was absolutely disgusting. I feel as if I'm the only person that hasn't packed them, which is frustrating, but... I mean, it is what it is. We ended up having Hosel in our team. Who was incredible, as I've been saying multiple times throughout this video. But yeah, this guy ended up going, it was like 3-0 on the 30th minute. He just didn't want to do it. But these games were played on Sunday. I think that might be the, the day that I start playing my champs games, to be honest. Seems to be easier. You'll also notice I'm playing on old gen. I just... We've got, as I said in the previous episodes, I have a friend that, that doesn't have a new gen console, so we play clubs on that. I didn't bother switching back over, mainly because I forgot. But it seems to be, to be, 
a little bit easier. Yeah, this guy's got jaded as well, as you probably saw. I mean, right, so that's bet. I'd have probably quit if this was me. Look at the amount of shots that we end up having. Like, I'd have paused that and quit. If it was any other weekend, I would have paused that and quit because I think I had like six shots before that eventually went in the back of the net. But that is what it is. There is a lot of sweat goals or whatever you guys call them. Like, there's so many different names, but there is a whole load of them this weekend. We were getting our green times on, on the go as well. Yeah. It's just, it's that point of FIFA where you're just going to try and do anything to get your wins. Right, you just, you just noticed that Slaughterbeck has blocked that ball. One of my friends absolutely swears by Slaughterbeck, but... I think it was, was it this game? He was out of position. So much. I think it's because it's high high. I mean, I'm in the process of doing uh, Tiago Silva, so I'm hoping it's not just because he's high high and that it's a little bit different. But yeah, he kept stepping up like whenever the attack was going on. Like, my other centre back, I think it was G Gabriel, stood, but Slaughterbeck always tried to like push up to, to meet the midfielder. I don't know if it was that high attack work rate, but it frustrated the life out of me. I ended up having to check. We ended up taking them out eventually, and I think we put one of our players back in, but... I think the next game I start talking, so you'll see me in just about two minutes. Five nothing in 22 minutes. For fuck's sake, man. He's paused it. Hey, sorry. Seven and three. Sorry, mate. Bellingham, you dude. Ronaldo, Red Van Dyke, Red Frimpong. And he's leveled up. Fucking. That's probably quite a few times for some reason. But he's putting him at right. He's putting him at right back. So. Hey, he's got fair ball now. And the guy's quitting. <laughs> I scored that call, not even quit. <laughs> no, I scored. I scored directly. I, I scored. I scored directly for the corner. Like he made his goal out, and I, I scored for it. <laughs> love that. But yeah, not not too bad. I, I think I got a bit too much enjoyment out of that, but that is what it is. You'll take the enjoyment where you get when it comes to FIFA or EAFC. But yeah, Lukman as well. I quite like my front three this weekend. Like, doesn't normally happen when you enjoy most of the players, but yeah, Lukman, Son. Hosolu were were a, a great combo. There's probably going to be some species that I want to do this week, but I've not figured out who yet. But I don't see anybody replacing Hosolu anytime soon. Maybe replacing Lichtman. I'll probably have a midfielder that'll replace Chalanoglu at some point. Maybe we do that Tiago that's just come out yesterday. But we'll have to see. I, I, I feel as if it's just the Hosolu show. I think I checked the stats after this game. And um, between champs, uh, uh, look at this goal. Look at this goal, actually. What a goal. Power shot volleys are beyond broken, and we will continue to take advantage of them as much as we can this year. Yeah, sorry. As I was saying, we probably won't replace Hosolu. We might. I'll figure out somebody to replace Charlie Don't know who though. Don't know who though. But now that now that we're recording, I am currently recording on Tuesday night. There has been some leaked players for I think it's great to the game promo. So we're we're gonna have to figure out if, if we need to replace my players with them, or if we wait for to see who we get in our reds. I obviously know who we get in our reds, so you guys will need to wait to see. But yeah, Hosley shouldn't have that control for a big man. Like, just 
it just shouldn't. I mean, I'm glad that it does, but it, it really, really shouldn't. That's, that's game was tough actually, and then they, they gave me that. They gave me this, and then. Yeah! Take advantage of it. Whatever I can get it. Lotaro, come on. Cole Palmer, come on. Cole Palmer, as soon as you get out on his left foot and hit, hit that finesse shot, there is absolutely no thought in them. Yeah, another broken mechanic that we're taking advantage of this game. The crossfield ball from your right back to your left wing. Just absolutely beautiful. I think at this point we were 10 and 5, I want to say. Yeah, 10 and 5. There it is there. So we're obviously only looking for one win to see if we can get those 11 win rewards. See if we could potentially get up to... I believe 14. Yeah, we'll have to see how it gets on the rest of the video. But we 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 weren't going to stop. Normally we stop at 11 and don't bother. But I wanted to try this week. So we stayed in every game. This guy was obviously because it was three nil up at one point, and it's now five five three. He's up here. Hosolu, just absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely good, but I've, I've obviously said the same thing multiple times throughout this episode, but I don't really see how you can keep talking about it, considering how good he actually is. The, the fact that like, there's some pro players that, that enjoy using them speaks absolute volumes. But yeah, five each I think it is at this point, yeah. I don't know why I didn't quit. Normally I would have quit, but as I was saying, ultimate torch rewards, potential 14 wins. We just stuck in the game as much as possible. Although we were getting really frustrated at points, we just we stayed to zero how far we could actually get. But you can see it's seven six to me here. I scored again to make it eight six. I think there might be one more goal in this game. Yeah, there is Sanchez. Any Hosolu. Hosolu just. Look at that. Tripling is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Little Travella into the far corner. So that is us got 11 wins, I believe. Yeah, 11 and 6 it was there. We obviously, three games had to win all of them. We'll have to figure out if we actually do, though. But yeah, it was two each in this game. I've obviously missed a few goals. I, I didn't realise that, but that is what it is. A little sweaty goal passed to Son. And this guy didn't want to deal with it. Anyway, right then, so we ended up finishing on 13 and 7. We missed out on 14 with a 121st minute goal from my keeper. Saving it, but it fell into the guy's feet, and yeah, that is what it is. I just want to see if we could actually get to 13. We ended up getting there. Obviously, there was that additional bonus objectives for additional player picks, so we've got them. We've obviously got our 11 win rewards as normal. One of three 94 plus ultimate team champs, ultimate tots as well. But we have got five red player picks. Honestly, I just want one that will fit into the champions corner and be decent. So we're looking for that as well. And then obviously with the ultimate champs tots, we are looking for one of the big boys. Right, we'll start with the Bundesliga. Like we'll work our way across. Right, one, come on. Show me Harry Kane. I mean, Jonathan Ta isn't Harry Kane. But we take him anyway. League and tots. Obviously, there's only one player that we really want here. Show me Mbappé. Eh. De Castillo or Del Castillo. Right, ultimate. Actually, wait, City A before that. I don't even know if I would want here, just somebody good. Purely because I am Scottish, I think it's a bit obvious who we're taking. Alright, then it is time for the big boys. One of three 94 plus champs ultimate tots. Just don't give me any of the three for the players. <sighs> right, first player pick gives us. Come on. Oh my days. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Ferguson, Dabinia, or Stanway. <sighs> oh 
don't even understand me. It has to be. Last one. What's the stress worth it? Probably not. Three, two, one. Let's go! Muziara, welcome to the club. I mean, is. Do you know what? I've actually heard he's incredible, so I'm not even going to complain one bit. 95 pace, 90 shoot, 90 pass, 99 dribbling. Whoa! I might have to get him into our team somehow, but let's just make sure we actually take him properly. There we go. Was it worth grinding out all those games this week? Definitely. I think we're going to put Ferguson through the champions corner, I think it is. So. There we go, we'll collect them. We'll have to go collect our, I think we've got the actual Torch Champion bonus. So we've got an 85 times 10 as well. So that'll be the last pack of the episode. We've also got two evolutions that we'll put, I don't know, on somebody. Maybe Tav, maybe Tav. Probably Tav actually, now that we're, now that we're thinking about it. Let's go to the store. Got some tradable packs. And then we've got the 85 times 10 that will finish it all off. Right, where's my tradable packs? We have got a tradable 50k pack. Blue? Ha! <laughs> Ugh, imagine getting anything tradable from rewards. That's laughable when you think of it. There you go. Cruz. Eh, I suppose that's something. Ultimate pack. We're genuinely expecting an 84 here. As the best player. It happens all the time. Gold. Polish. Centre back. I really, really wish I was wrong when I say that. But it's that's every single time. I really wish I was wrong. 85 times two. Come on, give me a tradable blue. Come on. Endler. Yeah, honestly. Right then, if finish off the episode, we have got our 85 times 10 if you've somehow enjoyed this episode watched me stress leave a like let me know what you thought of the team who should we get for next week alongside Muziala he'll be used in our rivals rewards anyway three two one blue come on let's go Rodri first who is behind him? I'm gonna assume Savio. Oh, could be somebody big. It's not spun straight away. Oh, Davinia. Okay. Ugh. Packed up like 10 times this week. Ah, let me know what you guys got in your rewards and tune in next time for probably a whole video of upgrade packs. Davinia, Hegelberg, Rodri. We all know where they're going straight through the exchange. Anyway, see ya!